All right, this is just a quick tutorial to show you how to program GLSL shaders that work in Blender. Uh, if any of you are coders and do WebGL or OpenGL, uh, this may be familiar to you in writing shaders. Also, this name might be familiar to you, Patricio Gonzalez Vivo. He seems to do everything <laughs> with regard to GLSL shaders, and he developed this plugin for Blender. To get it, you just click on this green code button, click download zip, and then in Blender, you want to install the add-on, edit preferences, add-on, install, go to your downloads, click it, and click install add-on. And you just want to make sure it's checked. I've actually already installed it, so I don't need to. And then to activate it, for me it's uh, F3. For you it might be spacebar to bring up this menu. Uh, you want to type in GLSL texture. And this will bring you this menu. And then you click OK. And that will give you your shader. OK, so I've got my material here. I'm going to call it frag. And we want to see it in the shading here. Let's change the type to emission, and we want to add an image texture. We're going to find that default.frag. And then we're going to connect the color node from the fragment shader to the color on the emissions shader. We've already got the emission hooked up to the surface of our material. And you can see up above here, we can see our shader has been applied to the cube. If you want to edit the script, we go to the scripting tab in Blender, and we can make our changes there.